Britain's former chief spy says private sector internet firms possess more personal data than any state intelligence agency. And David Oman claims they pose a major threat to democracy. The big revelation over the last couple of years has been not about government intelligence agencies, it's been about the private sector. It's about the internet companies knowing more about me, you, everyone in the hall than any intelligence agency ever could or should know about us. This is truly dangerous. I think it's a major threat to democracy and it's uncontrollable. He also points out the work of spy agencies is strictly regulated while private sector firms have other priorities, giving the scandal surrounding Cambridge Analytica as an example. The Cambridge Analytica scandal, the way in which our personal data, which is freely given in return for having an internet free at the point of use so we can do our searches and so on, that information is monetized. It is sold. In March 2018, a whistleblower revealed that Cambridge Analytica, a political consulting firm, had harvest harvested the personal data of up to 87 million Facebook users without their consent. This was used for targeted political ad campaigns. In the ensuing scandal, Cambridge Analytica folded as a firm and Facebook was fined $5 billion. Facebook boss Mark Zuckerberg has apologized several times. Chris Kitts, the founder of encrypted internet service Unsense, says people are being exploited online. I'm not convinced there's any difference between the, between the social media companies and the intelligence agencies. They're basically the same thing. So as soon as you put something in electronically, then the question is, is who has control over the data? Social media companies were funded by intelligence agencies. That's what that was the deal. The deal was we'll give you this money and technology to build your business and you give us the data. So when you when they collect your information, it's going right to this right to the security agencies in some fashion. And it's also going a lot of other places to advertisers and other people who may or may not protect that data. What they've done is they've basically turned every person into a spy against themselves. Everyone on earth is in the system. It's, a, it's basically a threat matrix of what kind of threat do these people represent to whomever. And they can just dial it up and down and they just watch your emails. If you make some offhanded comment, who knows, maybe you'll end up on one of those trains like they have in China where they hauled off the Uyghurs. You know, they're in control. The, the, the companies themselves, I'm not even sure that they're really in control of anything. I think that they're taking orders.